hyperglycemia is a serious adverse effect of many medications for patients uh, with both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, particularly with insulin and with certain oral medications. And it can lead to some severe consequences such as seizures, coma, or even death. Some patients uh, who have diabetes are very fearful of developing hypoglycemia, and they may have had a very bad experience in the past where they passed out, where 911 was called, and because of this, and they're so scared of this happening again, they deliberately run their blood sugars higher to minimize hypoglycemia. Physicians should be aware of any blood sugar reading that's below 70 that signifies hypoglycemia. Anything less than 30 or 40 is considered to be severe hypoglycemia, so that's considered an emergency, and physicians should also be aware of symptoms in their diabetic patients, such as dizziness, lightheadedness, nausea, which should prompt you to check their blood sugar. Physicians should know that hypoglycemia is one of the leading causes of emergency room visits in older Americans. So it's really important in our older patients to remember the higher A1C targets. So you're not targeting an A1C of six for an 80 year old person. That would be more to the seven, 7.5 range. We used to think that the tighter control, the tighter the A1C, the better. But now we realize the risk for low blood sugars and hypoglycemia. So there's this newer mentality where we really want to think about individualizing the treatment for their age, their comorbidities, their renal disease, and if they have hypoglycemic unawareness. So it's important that physicians be aware of comorbid conditions in their patients that can contribute to hypoglycemia. For example, a decline in kidney function can lead to medication staying on board and causing hypoglycemia. It's also important to remember medication side effects. For example, sulfonylureas. They're one of the main drugs that can cause hypoglycemia in older patients. Insulin as well. So be careful of the doses and the medicines that you're giving your patients. As physicians, I think we should really strive to include not only patients, but also their family and friends, so that this could be a collaborative and shared approach to managing the diabetes. And so what you want to do is make sure they're asking the right questions. So make sure they're educated about symptoms of low blood sugars and they know what questions to ask you so that then you can better help them with their diabetes management.